Hello and welcome back to Curb FM and another episode of the Amsterdam Wonder Kids. And you'll notice that we're already in the game. I've just realised that my mic wasn't turned on and I've been recording for about five minutes now. But so yeah, we're getting straight into the action today. And we're currently 1-0 up. Uh, Xerxes with the goal. Um, Haaland is injured, so Joshua Xerxes has stepped in, currently on loan from Bayern Munich. And he's making a name for himself already in the Champions League. And today we're going to be playing, uh, at the minute, two games. But if it comes down to the wire... At the end of the group stage, we're going to play free. It just depends whether we've won the group or not. So if we continue this win here, we've just scored a second there with Edouard from the header from the free kick. But yeah, if we beat PSG or if they continue to draw against Gent and then we draw with PSG, we're not going to show the third game. It just depends if there's something to play for. So it might be a two game episode or a three game episode. Just Let's just see how it goes. But yeah, it's going well so far. Uh, currently 2-0 up at home to Shakhtar in the return leg. And it looks like we might be getting another one out wide to Tagliafico. And it's a good save there from the Shakhtar keeper. And yeah, solid start to the episode. Uh, in the league so far, we're currently top as it stands. We've managed to overtake AZ in the end. Uh, they do have a game in hand though, as you can see. Uh, but... We are four points clear at the minute. And and Shakhtar have a goal back there through Ismaili from the free kick. So two free kick goals today. Uh, his second goal of the season. It wasn't a bad finish, to be fair. Now, hopefully we can hold on to the victory. PSG are now beating Gent. So could come down to that third game later on to decide who wins the group. Zayek is currently on a yellow card. So we're going to take him off. We're going to bring on either Brandt or... Erdegaard. I think I'm going to bring on Brandt just because he's permanent uh, so, to try and help improve him just a little bit and get him more bedded into the team. And other than that, we're just going to leave it as it is. As I say, Haaland is injured at the minute, so Xerxes has stepped in. Uh, Salcedo as well is injured. Yeah, we've brought in a youngster from the B team, Traore, who's going to be our backup on the bench today. So maybe he'll get some minutes if we're comfortable later on in the game. But yeah, let's carry on with this game. And Tyson is through into the box and he's going to look for Junior Morales. Was it Morales? And it's cleared though by the Ajax defender. PSG have just gone 2-0 up against Gent there with a goal from Kylian Mbappe for his second of the game. Two goals in five minutes, so not bad for him. But Edouard has shot from the free kick and it's a good save there. Nice ball over to Tagliafico who's bursting down that left-hand side. And he's done well to get past his man, Tagliafico, back to Brandt off the bench. And Xerxes with the header. Quality goal from him. And really making a case for that permanent signing. We do have a clause in his loan deal where we can sign him. And I think it's 25 million. Uh, so that could be a bit of a steal. He's got a lot of potential and is definitely going to be pushing towards the Netherlands team in the future. If he hasn't already been in it. Um, but I just want to quickly check that, actually. Yeah, he hasn't had any caps just yet. And let me just see if it is 25 million. And it is just under 24.99 somehow. So, yeah, uh, that could be something we activate in the summer. But we do have him on loan for the rest of the season. So there's no rush. And he's grabbed himself two goals today. Um, taking the opportunity with the two strikers down that would normally start ahead of him. And yeah, making a case to perhaps start some more league games going forward. He's going to look for the cross, is he? No, he's played it right back to midfield to Brandt. Now Dumbia to Van der Beek. Brandt through to Edouard. Can he finish? And he has. Great strike there from Edouard. Low strike into the left-hand corner. Fantastic finish. Keeper didn't even move. And yeah, that was a tough one to save there. He would have had to get down low and drop his hip. But he just fell to his knees. And uh, good finish from Odson there. 18th goal of the season. And yeah, he's on fire so far. And we've only got 15 minutes left of this game. I think it's in the bag. And I think we're going to make another change just to waste a little bit of time late on. And um, we're going to bring on uh, maybe Gravenbach or Martinez. Yeah, we'll go with Gravenbach. He hasn't played in a while. So we're going to bring off Van der Beek, who is running low on fitness there on 69 uh, Doombia is also struggling a little bit for conditioning and Dest, so probably taking one of them off would be the best option. I think we're going to bring on Martinez for Doombia and uh, see how it goes. And now Gravenbach with the free kick just on the edge of the box and Sanchez tries to get there but can't. Now Brandt has 
under a bit of pressure there, but he's kept the ball and he's found Pongrasic. And back to Brandt, finds Xerxes. Now Karen Vinger, I think this could be another goal. And Edouard shoots from outside the box and it's a good save there to tip it over the bar. And I think that's it. And it is. It's all over here in the Amsterdam Arena. Two goals each for the strikers, Xerxes and Edouard. And we head into the remainder of the group stage in a great position, top of the group. And that puts us into the knockout rounds. Now it just comes down to, are we going to get the top seed? And will that help us get through at least into the quarterfinals? Uh, so we're going to play PSG next, who have a great team, as we saw in the last episode, um, with the likes of Pogba, Mbappe and Neymar, to name a few. And yeah, it's going to be tough, but we did manage to draw with them last time. And hopefully we can do that again. It was two all, so we scored two, but uh, conceded two at the same time so it's going to be a tough game but we know we can score against them it's just can we keep them out and we'll get to that now and i'll play the zwall game off camera as i say if we do not beat psg we will be watching the aaa gen game in this episode as well and bring you a triple header but we'll see how it goes but let's go forward and get to the psg game and i'll update you on that result so we're back at the psg game now the game went well uh we beat them and AZ drew, so we're now three points clear at the top of the league. Everyone's played the same amount of games now. But yeah, with that said, uh, let's get into the PSG game now. The side is pretty much the same, uh, but Palacios is back from injury and he will be replacing Van der Beek in the starting 11. Uh, we do have Haaland back as well, who steps in in place of Zerxy. And Davidson Sanchez has picked up an injury and is out for another two weeks. So Martinez is reigniting his partnership with Pongrasic from last season. And hopefully we can pick up the win and we're going to play our best football today, hopefully. So let's see how we get on. So we've got a corner early on for PSG today with Neymar to take. And it's cleared off the line there by Dumbia. And another free kick for PSG. And it's a long ball forward this time. And it's found the back of the net off Ongwin's head. Looks like it's going to be a difficult game today. Uh, Jerome Onguin, I think that's how you pronounce it, over the top. Keeper beaten to it there. Farinez took a risk by coming off his line there and it backfired. And it was beaten there by the header. And we've dropped down to second place in the group. But are we going to fire straight back with Dest on the right-hand side? Pulls it back to Karen Vinga. Finds Palacios now. And can we find a way through the middle? Or are we going to have to spread out wide? There is two options out wide. And now we've got Dest. And he's going to make the cross, finds Edouard, and it's a great save there by the keeper. And it is a corner for us now. And Zayek to take. Can he find someone in the box? And he's found Pongrasic, and it's headed over the bar. And now Saul bursting forward down the left-hand side. And it's crossed into Chaser. And now Canseo on the right, and he shoots, and it's held easily by Farinez. Done well there. And now Cancelo again. And crossed over and Pongrasic clears, but it's gone straight to Marquinhos. Now Saul, and it's great tackle there from Dest, de doing well de defensively. And we've found Dumbia. Now it's a long ball forward to Eduardo. We're we going to hit them on the counter attack with Zayek bursting forward. He's done his man and he's through on goal. And a poor effort from him. And it's another chance for Ajax, perhaps, with a throw in deep in our half. And Eduardo finds Dest. Dest into Haaland, and it's a save by Kayla Navas. Again, keeping them in the lead. And not a bad effort from Haaland. Haaland is back from injury and hopefully he can continue his fantastic form so far, that he's had so far for the club. And it's a long ball over to Edouard now. Can he find Haaland in the box? And Haaland again! And it's over the bar. And now a throw in once again, intercepted by Neymar. And he's bursting forward. He's through on with the keeper and it's a great shot and a great goal. What a finish there from outside the box. 2-0 now to PSG and it is looking... Like it's going to be a loss and perhaps our chances at winning this group are fading away. And yeah, really tough game. And there's not much you can do about that. Neymar blasting it into the bottom left corner. Difficult for the keeper to reach. And it is 2-0 at half time. And that goal coming in stoppage time. So late on in the first half. Haaland not having the best game of his career, but it is his first game back from injury. So he is just trying to bed himself back into the rhythm. Uh, not a great game for Farinaz either at 6.3. So we might take him off for Anana. He's not having the best game at all. So we're going to do that. Andre Anana has been complaining about lack of first team football. So we're going to give him a little chance today. I don't normally take a keeper off, but 
give Varanez a little boost going forward, knowing that he is not invincible and that I'm willing to make the change if necessary. And yeah, maybe a little bit embarrassing for him, but uh, hopefully it does put some fire in his belly and hopefully he can come back stronger than ever. Uh, but we'll see. And uh, PSG, though, looking to create a chance from the back. Uh, not really doing much with it. They're just keeping the ball. Uh, they have found a way down the right-hand side through Cancelo now. And is he going to find the cross? Uh, Palacios tries to block it, and Palacios again trying to get in front of him. Uh, but Pogba shoots from outside the box, and it is tipped over by Anana. It's a good save. Perhaps could have held that, uh, but a save is a save nonetheless. And now Verratti to take the corner, and it found nobody whatsoever, and it flies over everyone. And we do have a throw-in now in our half with Palacios intercepted, though. And now Pongrasic picks up the loose ball, and now Dest finds the cross into Haaland, and Haaland with, the, with another header. And it is saved by Navas. We might have to look at bringing Haaland off as well. But I do have more faith in him that he can just find that little spark of magic. And we're just playing out the back now with Martinez with the ball. And he has been tackled though by Mbappe. And Mbappe bursting forward and he's through on one on one with a keeper. And it's gone wide. But can we win the ball back from them? With Chaser down that right hand side. And he's cut inside. He's done well and he shoots. And Anana tips it wide. And uh, now we're 30 minutes remaining in the game. And yeah, not a great day for us in the Amsterdam Arena today. And it's a good save by Anana once again. Uh, we're going to just make another change, try and add a little spark to the team. And um, we're going to bring on Erdegaard for Zayek. We're going to leave Haaland on. As I say, I've got faith that he can turn this around. Uh, but Martin Erdegaard maybe make an impact coming off the bench for Zayek. And he's a solid player, perhaps someone we can look at signing permanently. But of course, he is currently on loan from Real Madrid. Uh, but. Yeah, here he is, though, on the ball. Finds Taglia Figo, who shoots. Probably not the best effort there. And now Odegaard with a free kick over to Martinez. And it's hit the bar. And it is cleared. And it was offside. I think it was Haaland, actually, there with the header. Another chance for him. But he just can't get it in the back of the net today. He is struggling. But hopefully he can find his rhythm once again. Of course, having that injury recently has put him off his stride a little bit. And it is a ball across the goal. Dangerous ball there. Nearly finds Neymar. And now PSG again, and cleared by Martinez. Now Pogba over the top, with Tagliafico heads it, but it has gone straight back to PSG. And they're still looking to find a way through. With 20 minutes remaining, 2-0 up. It's a pretty comfortable lead at this point. We're going to have to find one goal every 10 minutes. And it is a bit of an ask. And hopefully we can find a way through. But Neymar through to Mbappe. That dangerous duo there. They're almost striking. And now... Erdegaard, long ball over, finds Edouard, can he finish? And he couldn't get the shot away there. Good block by the defender. He was do There was two on him. And it is a foul there, though, by Neymar, pulled his shirt. Uh, but we will see no highlight from that free kick. And yeah, we've only got 12 minutes remaining of normal time. And we're going to need something coming off the bench now. Uh, Haaland on a 6.7 now. So he has turned it around just a little bit, but... Still not enough to find a goal. Uh, we're going to bring on Van der Beek for Palacios. So maybe some extra legs in the midfield can help create a couple more chances heading into the dying minutes of the game. And Van der Beek intercepts and got Doombia long ball out to Dest. Can he find someone in the box? There's plenty of options if he hurries up. A Cancelo there with the tackle. Now Pongrasic gets the ball back. And we've gone back to the keeper now through Anana. Of course, our starting keeper for a while until the last season when we signed Farinez but he's still at the club and a really good backup to have in times like this and now Haaland has picked up the ball now Tagliafico out wide and he finds the cross into Erdegaard and Haaland should have scored but he's hit it into the defender I think it was going wide anyway PSG might get another opportunity now for Mbappe and he bursts past his defence back across the defenders to Neymar and it's held well again by Anana. He's having a good game today in this second half. Now Haaland nearly gets on the end of that but Navas beats him to it. And now Mbappe playing from deep and now Herrera out wide to Kempembe. And yeah, PSG looking comfortable now in their lead. Just keeping the ball well, waiting for their chance to strike and Mbappe's through and it's a great save again by Anana, stopping Killian from getting another goal in this game. And it would have been, actually, it would have been his first goal there. And uh, now Dest finds Karen Vinger out wide into Haaland. And it's held by Navas again. Does Haaland can't get on the end of it? Another opportunity for him. 
Uh, but it is all over here in Amsterdam. Ajax nil, PSG 2, man of the match, Neymar Jr. And yeah, tough game, tough to take really. We couldn't find the goal in the end. And yeah, frustrating loss there. I feel like uh, we should have done a little bit better in the attacking department. But we do have another chance to win this group. So we're just going to play this game now. We're going to go against Gent, who have just lost 5-1 to Shakhtar. So it should be an easy win. So hopefully Shakhtar can at least draw with PSG. And if they do and we win, we will win the group. So it's all to play for still, despite the loss. So hopefully PSG can slip up and we can take advantage. Let's get to that game. We do have two league games in between. And we're going to go up against Venlo and Twente. Uh, so... I'm going to play them off camera and come back for that Gent game. So I'll see you in a second. All right, so we're back and it's time for the Gent game. Uh, the league games went very well. We beat Venlo 5-0 and we scraped past FC Twente with a 1-0 win. And we are now six points clear at the top of the table, 10 points clear still of third. But it's all about the Champions League now. And unfortunately, Haaland has picked up another injury and is going to be out for another six days. I'm a little bit worried that he's going to start to become injury prone. Hopefully not, though. Uh, it is a foot injury and the previous injuries weren't the foot. So it's not a reoccurring injury. He's just every part of his body is becoming injured at different times. That means Xerxy is stepping in his place and Salcedo is on the bench and is allowed to play 45 minutes according to the physio so we might bring him on at half time but we're going to start with Xerxes and Eduard up top. Davies is starting ahead of Tagliafico just because he's a little bit fitter and um, let's give him a game why not. Abram starting ahead of Martinez and Sanchez. Sanchez still injured and Martinez is being rested for the day. A rotated side but still very strong nonetheless and I'm confident of a win today in Belgium. So let's see how we get on and let's get straight into the game. Can we find a cross in? Davies does his man. Now Zayek turns and shoots and is blocked there by the defender and it is another throw in for Ajax. Now Xerxes back to Davies and we seem to be finding a way down this left hand side and it's a good cross there from Davies and Edouard with a good head into the back of the net and Davies there with, his, with a good assist. Of course he's the left wing back but he's much better in attack than defence and it shows there with a good cross and Edouard puts it past the keeper to make it 1-0, seven minutes in. Uh, PSG are winning though, so they're currently on 14 points. As you can see in the bottom left-hand corner here and they are going through as group winners as it stands. And it's 3-1 in Paris now to PSG. Neymar with his second goal of the game, making it 3-1. And we have kept the pace up with them only one point behind them. Now Xerxes does his man. Can he find the ball? Or he's going to shoot, actually. And it's gone wide. Back to Davies. Doombier once again finds Palacios. We're switching over to the right-hand side this time. Dest, he's got some space. Crossed into Xerxes. And it's a good save by the keeper. Well held. Drop low and held onto the ball. And it is 4-1 now in Paris. Hat-trick for Neymar Jr. after a penalty in the 44th minute. So I think the group win for us is just a little bit out of our reach. And we're going to bring on Salcedo now for Xerxes. And he can go up front with Edouard. Maybe grab a goal today. I'm not sure we've seen too much of him in the episodes. But he has been playing well. Especially during Haaland's first injury. And uh, yeah, maybe he can show off what he can do today for the cameras. And a lot of potential in that guy. And hopefully he's going to be a star of the future going forward. We're trying to create a chance. But we just can't find the way through Gent at the minute. But we are trying again, though. Pongrasic is playing as a winger now, the centre-back. And uh, he's gone back to Dumbia. Now Karim Vinga finds Palacios. Zayek turns and finds Davies. And he's done his man. Can he find the cross or is he going to shoot? And it's Salcedo, speak of the devil. And he shall appear. And what a goal from Salcedo. Pretty easy for him, but he did well to get in the right position. A poacher's instinct there in the box. Davies. Shoots off the keeper and Salcedo with the rebound straight into the back of the net. And it's a good finish. And I think we're going to bring on Veltman for Dest down that right-hand side. What can he do? He's found a good ball forward. He's found Edouard. Is he going to make an impact straight off the bench? And nearly got himself an assist there, Veltman. Edouard couldn't put it past the keeper. And it's gone out for a corner after a good save. And now Zayek to take in the box to Pongrasic. And it's found the back of the net. Marin Pongrasic with the headed goal. And it is now 3-0 here in Belgium. 
and surely the three points are in the bag as we head through to the knockout stage of the Champions League. It is still 4-1 in Paris. So it looks like Shakhtar aren't going to be able to help us out today. But Pongrasic again from the corner and it's gone wide this time. Nearly finding himself a second goal. But we are going to take off Zayek and give Erdegaard some minutes. And only 12 minutes left of the game and Erdegaard to take the corner and it's gone to Davies. And is he going to be brought down? It looks like he will be and it's going to be, it looks like it was a foul anyway and the referee's going to check and it has been given. It's going to be Edouard to take and he's put it past the keeper and it is 4-0 now. And it, <laughs> PSG are now 6-1 up against Shakhtar. But solid performance today and good signs heading forward into the future of the Champions League tournament. And hopefully the next round draw isn't too bad. I'm not sure whether we're going to be able to see the draw today. It just depends when it happens. I think it's a little bit later on in the year, so it might have to be in the next episode. And hopefully it's not too harsh on us. Let's have a look who we might be playing. We're obviously going to be playing against someone in the top of their group. So it could be PSG, I think it can be. I'm not sure whether we can actually go against someone in our group. It could be Barcelona, it could be Man United, it could be Real Madrid. Um, that's all the games that are happening today. We could have a proper look later on at the options once the results are final. But we are 5-0 up now after a goal. I didn't see who scored that. I was looking at the group, but let's see. It was Dumbia, knocks it out wide to Davies. And he's put it into, who's that? Salcedo. So Salcedo gets another goal today. Sixth goal of the season and second goal of the game. So good performance from him off the bench at half time. Despite his lack of fitness, he has stepped up today and done well. And perhaps a sign for the future, as we were saying earlier. Yep, yeah, that's it. Surely, ref blow the whistle. Let's get it over and done with. So the draw is in five days, but I think we've got a match before then. So I'm just going to leave the draw till the next episode and a little bit of a cliffhanger to find out who we're going to be going up against. So the options are Barcelona, Manchester United, PSG, Real Madrid, Arsenal, Red Bull, Salzburg, Liverpool or Man City. So it's going to be tough. Uh, the ideal draw would be against Salzburg. I'll probably take them over every single other one and otherwise it's going to be very, very tough to progress. But hopefully we can do it. Before that though, we will have January coming up. So you will be joining me after the transfer window. So hopefully you join me for that. And it's also worth noting that Brian Broby is the second top scorer in the Champions League behind Edouard on six goals. And he is, of course, out on loan from us at Basel. I don't think Basel got through, but good signs for him going forward. Perhaps could return to the team. Actually, they did qualify into the knockout round from Group F. So really good stuff from Broby there out on loan. And in the next episode, I'll do a full loan report on all the young talent that we've got out on loan across Europe and the Netherlands. So hopefully you join me for that. And of course, it'll be the knockout round of the Champions League. So if you're excited for it, make sure you drop a like on the video and subscribe with notifications turned on so you don't miss another episode. Um, why not watch one of the videos that you can see on the screen right now? But until next time, peace.